In this video, we're gonna be talking about digital real estate and more specifically, how to invest by growing your own digital real estate. If that interests you guys, stick around for this whole video. I really think you're gonna like it. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Nathan with Freedom Influencer and today we're gonna to be talking about digital real estate, how I believe that you guys should be investing into real estate, more specifically digital real estate. And there's two types of digital real estate that I wanna cover in this video. But before we go into that, if this is your first time here on my channel called Freedom Influencer, we talk about how to make money online, how to generate a passive income, online entrepreneurship. So if you guys are interested in more videos, just like this one, I invite you guys to go down, subscribe to this channel, be sure to hit that bell notification so that way you get notified of when I come out with new videos. Now, before I go into this, I wanna share just my opinion on this uh, of where I believe that the internet is going, why I believe digital real estate is something that everybody should be focusing on, and then I'm gonna talk about the two types of digital real estate that I'm talking about here, okay? So first, I wanna share just my opinion with you guys. Now, first of all, I am not a real estate guru, I'm not a CPA, I'm not giving you any legal advice in this video. So I wanted to be very clear on that, I'm just sharing information with you. So I believe that if you look at digital trends, uh, it is in the favor of every single person to be creating and growing their own digital real estate. And if you have the funds to invest into digital real estate, which I'll talk about here in just a minute. But I, you know, I'm just looking at things as the way that I see them. And what I'm seeing is that if you look up over a decade ago in comparison to where the internet has taken, taken us to today, you'll find that there are, there are really huge dramatic differences in where the internet has taken us and where I believe it's going. Example is that if you look a decade or two ago to the, the idea of taking out your wallet and paying for goods on the internet sounded scary. And as a matter of fact, most people thought it was a scam to make any type of purchase on the internet. Nowadays with websites like Amazon, you know, it becomes part of our daily lives. As a matter of fact, this week, I think every single day we've had something show up at our doorstep from Amazon or another website. So it's become very regular for us to, uh, to pay for services online. Now let's talk about content creation just for a second, because I'm also gonna be talking about growing a website in digital real estate with, with a blog. Uh, that's gonna be a little bit later, but I wanna talk about video consumption, okay? And the statistics are staggering if you look at websites, like more than likely you're watching this on YouTube right now, okay? And if you look at the statistics of websites uh, of YouTube and video consumption of how much video is being consumed on a daily basis, even hourly basis, it is absolutely mind blowing. And if you look at the trend of where it's going, it is only increasing. And so I want you guys to be thinking about this and we're gonna be talking about things like Evergreen where you're building a sustainable business using the power of digital real estate, okay? And I really want you to think about the younger generations, okay? And how all of them have these, right? They're all consuming content on their phones and it's only increasing. So what you have to understand of growing a successful business is where are the consumers at? Because in the end, in order to create a profitable business, even if it's in real estate, and I'm gonna share with you guys some cool stuff here of a way to think about it, you have to understand that you must go where your customers are at. And if you actually look at businesses over time, nothing has changed about this. And I know that you guys have heard this before. If you're starting a business and you know, let's just say it was a brick and mortar business, it was all about location, 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 right? Why? Because if you don't have customers, if you weren't in the, the right spot for your potential customers to come into your store and see the goods that you have to offer, you're never gonna make sales, you're never gonna grow your business. The same goes for today in internet marketing and growing a, a successful business online, right? This is kind of what we're talking about here with digital real estate. 
And this is just my personal opinion of, of business in the way that I see things going from where it's been to where we're at now and where things are going. I believe that if we're talking about business and more specifically online business, if you do not have an internet presence, you will become irrelevant. And I know that sounds crazy because we all live in the real world. However, the digital world is increasing very fast. And so that's why I'm creating this video for you guys to understand a couple of different ways that I wanna share with you in, in real estate. So first of all, in, in digital real estate. The first, the first way that I wanna share with you guys is, is more transactional, okay? What do I mean by transactional? There are websites out there right now that you can pay money for, okay? People are selling these websites. You can go buy these websites. A couple examples of where you can purchase websites. There's a website called flippa.com, okay? Flippa.com, empireflippers.com, and you basically go to these websites and there, there's a, a list of websites where they're bringing in money and you can choose to make a purchase. You can buy these websites outright and they become your website. This is more of a transactional thing, right? And then I'm gonna talk about growing your own real estate. So what happens is, let's just say that you come along and you, you buy this website and you know that it's making so much money per month, okay? It's making so much money per month. Now, depending on the purchase price, you're gonna to have to go so many months or maybe even years before you hit this profit line. Once you hit this profit line, okay, anything beyond that is profit. Every single month, whatever money this is bringing in, and I'll draw up this little uh, circle diagram real quick, the symbol, basically this website is generating a monthly recurring income. Once you hit this point, you're making money. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. So you basically have to understand how long is it gonna take me to turn a profit based on how much money this website is already making, whether it be selling uh, you know, e-commerce, whether it be doing Dropify, Amazon affiliate or a different affiliate program, whatever it may be, websites are out there making money every single month and they are for sale for you to purchase them, okay? Um, the other thing that you have to think about is not just uh, a monthly, right? Um, but also maintaining that website, okay? Because websites, they, they take maintenance, okay? And a lot of times this comes in the form of blogging. You have to update the website or it may be social media marketing. Continue to get the word out about this website so people can come to it, uh, whether it be through social media or through search engine optimization, which is also known as SEO. For those of you who don't know what SEO is, it's called search engine optimization. This is one way, this is the first way that I wanted to share with you that you can literally go out, you can invest into what I call digital real estate, and you can start investing to turn profits. Now, I want you to imagine uh, doing this. Now, obviously, this is a way that for people who already have the funds to invest into a website. Maybe you don't have money to invest into a website. So now, I wanna transition to what I call not just digital real estate, but growing, growing your own digital real estate. Now, I want you guys to think about this, okay? Let's just say, and I'm making up this analogy as I go, but let's just say that uh, before, uh, we'll pick a city, we'll just say Las Vegas, before Las Vegas became Las Vegas and it became a, you know, a, a central location where people go to vacation, they go to gamble, and let's say that you opened up a casino there, okay, or even a restaurant, any type of business, okay, um, and let's say that you uh, were in the middle of the desert but nobody is there. Nobody's there, nobody even knows about you, okay? This is the way that every single piece of digital real estate that you choose to grow starts, okay? You have to understand the process of internet traffic, okay? Of internet traffic, because without traffic, or the old school way, which it's still relevant for brick and mortar businesses, is location, your location. Now, when we're talking about transitioning to the internet, it's simply called traffic, which is basically how people are landing on websites. And when you get visitors to your website, that's called internet traffic. So what happens, I want you to think about starting your own digital real estate or starting your own website. Basically, we're calling this your, your website. And eventually, what we're, what we're trying to grow here is a brand and and also sell products and make money, okay? 
This is the idea of your own digital real estate and I wanna talk about how to grow it, okay? So what happens is I believe that every single person should have a website, okay? Now I'm not gonna talk about how to start a blog and grow a blog and make money with a blog and all that, but I do have a step-by-step -step blog post. I'll link it in the description below on how to start a blog. So if you have yet to start your website, which is our digital real estate we're gonna grow and what we're gonna to continue to talk about, Click the link in the description of this video. I'll leave it down there uh, to my blog post about starting a website, okay? So you start this website and now what most people do is they start a website. Let's just say that they even create, um, actually I'll go a couple different ways. We'll just say e-com, okay, which is e-commerce, uh, basically selling products. You have stuff called affiliate marketing which is what I do. If you're interested in affiliate marketing, I'll leave a link in the description for my free ebook called Affiliate Marketing Riches. And then you have what we call, I'll just say DP for digital products, okay? Digital products. So we have e-commerce, we have affiliate marketing, and we have our own digital products. Digital products uh, are, are things that are, it's very lucrative. It is something that can be evergreen where you can make money uh, by selling digital information, okay? And this is, you know, basically what colleges have been doing for years is selling information, right? I mean, at the end of it, you get a certificate, but going to college nowadays is, has really completely changed. Graduating college by no means anymore means that you are in fact guaranteed a job in the industry that you went to, went to school for. Um, so it's the same thing. You're selling information and you get compensated for it. So let's just say that these are three different ways that you can monetize it, okay? Because, right, this is how you monetize. How do you make money? There, there has to be a transaction made, right? Just simply having a website, you're not going to make money. You're not going to grow a brand. There are things, ads, so I guess, yes, you can have uh, something called ad revenue. I guess I'll throw that on there. However, I don't recommend relying on this. now. For those of you who are following this and you already know a lot of this information, maybe you know that you can make money with ads and you say, Nathan, and you're calling BS on me. You say, I've seen some of your videos and you, you're showing that you know, you're, you're making $70,000 in a year just with ad revenue. Okay, yes, you can make a good amount of money with it, but let's rewind the tape for a second because I don't wanna get, want you to get ahead of yourself. Before you start generating enough traffic, okay, in order to make good money with ad revenue, most people quit, okay? Most people quit. And what I want you to understand is that as you're growing your digital real estate, uh, in the very beginning when you're not getting any traffic or your location sucks, okay, this is where most people quit. Because a lot of people have a dream. I remember when I had you know, my dream of creating an internet business that could change mine and my family's financial situation. Uh, it's very, very difficult in the very beginning. This is why I, I talk a lot about personal development and, 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 and growing yourself as an entrepreneur as well. Because your journey to success is gonna be different than anyone else's. It's gonna take work, it's gonna take some, you're gonna have to focus on why you're doing it because the reality is, is that most people will be hit with resistance. And I'm not gonna say that some people don't get lucky and, and you know they're able to create a very successful business on the internet without doing a lot of work, Yes, there are some people who in fact get lucky, but let's not talk about the people who get lucky. Let's play the cards in our favor in a way that we can strategize and be smart about growing our own digital real estate, okay? So first of all, whatever your, your website, and I'll just do this, what, this is your website, whatever it is, you, you have to have something in mind for a niche, okay? You're gonna have to pick something that I recommend you be passionate about because what this is all based on, your entire business is based on content, okay? Content creation. Now the key with content creation and building your digital real estate is, is growing something that continuously gives value to a specific marketplace or a niche, okay? And as you do this, as you do this, you will start to gain more and more traffic, okay? Back to your website or back to whatever platform you have. Now, 
In doing this, this is where social media comes into play, okay? Social media. You have sites like YouTube, what you're on right now. You have sites like Twitter, uh, Instagram, okay? All of these different social media sites can help feed your brand, your business, and ultimately start to give you traffic. Now here's the thing, is that a lot of people say, with, when, they're, when you see other people teaching this stuff, they say, well how do I get traffic to my website, okay? And this is a process you must understand, is that it is a process, it's going to take time. Because what I could tell you right now is, well if I wanted to drive traffic to a new blog post, or a, web, a page on my website, I'll just create a YouTube video and send them to that page. But guess what, most people starting out, they don't have a YouTube channel with a lot of subscribers, so they can't do that. So then what they focus on, and what I recommend focus on, you grow this. You grow this by creating valuable content to the marketplace. Okay, so a lot of people say, well just use your social media to grow your website. Well that doesn't work for everybody. So what else can you do? I'm gonna throw another one in here just as a bonus, but there's a website called Quora. I think I spelled that right. Quora is a question and answer website. Whatever your niche is in, okay, you're gonna write a blog post or even create a YouTube video about it and embed it on a blog post if you want to. And you're gonna to go to Quora and you're gonna find questions. This is where people come to with questions in your specific niche and I want you to create a very solid answer that helps people, gives them value, and then you can link back to your website or to your YouTube video, I've done this, which starts to grow it, okay? Now, remember I said that there's going to be resistance. This is something that we all face, I faced it as well. This whole process of growing digital real estate takes time. It takes time, but you have people. I think it's uh, I think it's Pro Blogger or uh, uh, blog. Uh, yeah, I think it's Pro Blogger. But there, there's a, a, a gentleman, uh, John Morrow, who's built a website, and he's he's paralyzed, and he writes his blog posts by verbally speaking into a machine because he can't type, and he's created a blog that get this, okay. And this is the power of why I'm, I'm teaching this to you guys, all right? His, his blog has made over five million dollars, okay? Five million dollars from his blog and he is paralyzed. So whatever excuse that you have in your head right now, a lot of people are gonna come up with excuses, say this is too much, it takes too much work, I work a full-time job, whatever the excuse may be, I want you to just to understand that there is someone out there who at maybe in the shoes you're in right now at the starting point was less fortunate than you who's go, gone on to do some really amazing things and created success in creating their own website, their own YouTube channel, and growing a successful brand. So I want you to take all excuses and I want you to throw them out the window, okay? And if this has been helpful to you guys at all, I want you to hit the thumbs up. It helps the video. It lets me know that I actually gave you guys value. But in, in wrapping this video up, I want you guys to go down and comment. For those of you who want to make this happen in this year, just go down um, and comment no excuses. Did I, write, did I write that right? No excuses. Because the reality is most people have excuses. And they, they use life events, they use family, they use uh, tragedy, they, they use things that may be unfortunate in life, they use it as an excuse to not chase their dream, okay? And I know that if your dream is to create digital real estate, to create a website, to create an internet business that can change your life financially and maybe change the lives of other people, you have to take the excuses and put them aside. Because if you give in to your excuses and you start justifying why you're not going for your dreams, then you start giving yourself permission to quit on your dreams and to never chase them. And I'm telling you right now, from somebody from years ago who knew that I needed to be an entrepreneur, I knew it, I knew I was born to do it, but I neglected that calling on my life. I knew that I could do it, I knew I could do great things, but I neglected it and I regret it. I should have done it and stuck with it from the very beginning, which I don't know, it's over 10 years ago now. Over a decade ago, I knew what I, I wanted to do and I, I didn't do it. And so from someone who's speaking from experience, 
who's been in and out of entrepreneurship and finally just stuck with it and has created success now and been able to change my life, I encourage you guys to comment down below, no excuses, make a declaration for yourself and publicly to other people that you're going to do something this year and start your journey to success as well. I appreciate you guys for watching this video. This is Nathan with Freedom Influencer, and of course, I will see you on the next video. Bye for now.